kind of doesn't feel real that we get to spend all this time with this amazing little rhino. I'm about to walk about waist deep into the Okavango Delta to get the shot. And this is what we do, this is our office. We've got the black rhino right here. My heart is beating out of my chest. I'm actually speechless. It's pretty incredible. I ended up becoming a game ranger and working and living in the Kruger National Park. The whole atmosphere in Kruger had completely changed. This rhino has been shot for its horn. We're losing rhinos at a rapid, rapid rate. This is something that has contributed to us developing a business that does somehow educate people and serve some form of purpose. So, the mic on. Silence on set. It's always been an incredible relationship with the three of us. Oh yeah. Ollie and I, when we were 15 years old, we were talking about making films in the bush. We were two cowboys doing what we loved, but there was no structure, there was no organization, there was no one to tell us actually you're wrong where we needed that. Sam is an incredibly smart woman. We realized immediately that bringing on Sam, all the value that she would add was kind of a no-brainer. Our first morning in Kenya, technically. Chia in Rwanda. The Drakensberg mountain range. So good to be back here. Hello. What a magical place. What can I say about James? He's diligent. He's very similar to myself, a perfectionist. He's always had this marvelous skill of just engaging with people, making them feel very comfortable. <laughs> with regards to Sam, she's got incredible empathy for people, but at the same time, she can be a ruthless businesswoman. There's very few people that I know that will tell you, no matter who you are, that you're doing it wrong and that this is a potential way to make it better. Ali is probably one of the most OCD, meticulous individuals I've ever known in my life. Anyone who works with Oli knows that they're going to work super hard. No earmaps, noise reduction, so whenever Oli's shouting at me, I just pop these on and I can't <laughs> really hear him. We love commercial work, but I think the cause-related work is really what's the core of who we are. We're constantly trying to get more creative and look at how we do things, push ourselves and collaborate with different people. It's extremely rewarding as filmmakers when a three minute film is showcased and it's raised funds or it's made a difference to someone that we've been on the ground with. We thought that we could make a difference by teaming up and educate people around the world about conservation on the continent. It makes me remember why we do what we do and to be out here just makes all the difference. We're learning and we're expanding and so that we can reach more people and tell stories in the best way, in the most honest way. Living the dream, right? Feeling very blessed. Feeling very, very blessed. blessed. Over and out, see you tomorrow. Over and out. Yeah, it is.